overflows orgasm a non sexual experience orgasm is not something necessary for reproduction orgasm is something essential to open a window for higher evolution of consciousness in you orgasm is something essential to open a window for higher evolution of consciousness in you and through you in others who interact with you in any way but those who have been religious leaders and priests prevented that window from opening they have been teaching continuously meditate and then people and when people fail when they cannot attain to meditation then it is said you are sinners how can you attain first be celibate fast do penances and all these things will prevent people from having orgasm which is the only natural way to have first glimpse of meditation so you can understand the difficulty of the awakened ones if i say to people you have been prevented by your religious people from becoming religious they cannot understand what i am saying but i am what i am saying is absolutely scientific and correct there is something hidden in man's nature that opens a window towards higher evolution otherwise how can you convince the man that there are things like higher experiences and how did the first man came to know why did he meditate in the first place and how did he find the way to meditate somebody somewhere in the deep past must have found something similar with the nature and must have seen that although he passes through sex certainly he reaches to a point where sex has nothing to do with it sex simply opens a door into a new reality and that door can be opened even without sex far more easy without any dependence on the other but first and the foremost is easiest way when the door opens through the sex and you attain to three dimensions timelessness egolessness and total freedom then you can experience this in any other way it is of great misfortune that has fallen befallen on humanity that sex became taboo prohibited rejected and condemned they did not succeed in preventing it but they certainly succeeded in poisoning man's spiritual growth so it is not only the orgasm that you experience in meditation which is non sexual even the orgasm that you experience through sex is non sexual although it begins at physical level then you transcend the level of the body you enter the second layer which is emotions and when you transcend that you enter into the third layer which is energy layer at that layer it is absolutely 
non sexual orgasm itself is a non sexual experience the natural way the easier way and the primary way is through sex and it is perfectly good it is in accordance with nature's intention and then you know that such an experience is possible for you because sex is the most common thing that we engage in meditation not everybody engages in so when you experience it in a most ordinary manner then you can apply it in any field and experience whether it is cooking singing riding doing anything in life all can give you orgasmic experiences then life will be rich in a multidimensional manner and then you know that such experiences are possible for you then you can play with the experience and you can find many ways to reach it all those ways have become meditations and that does not prohibit you from using the sexual way in any way because it is sex that has given you the first experience of orgasm also sex has given you the first insight into meditation sex has taken you away from your biology and the nature so one should be grateful to one's own sexuality there should be no question of any guilt if religions had taught people to be grateful to sex we could have produced a totally different kind of man not this miserable and suffering creature that you see all around in the world we could have produced really joyful blissful people people who could have forgotten people who would have forgotten how to be miserable how to suffer who would have forgotten completely the anguish in which they are living now to have a deep orgasm is to have an oceanic feeling of being totally lost women have been forced not to be active in love making because if they are active they are more prone because they have a subtler and more delicate body to feel this death like phenomena of orgasm they have been forced not to utter a single word not to move they should remain in sub asan just lying dead frozen and man has also become aware that if he really moves deep into orgasm it gives a very shaking experience tremendously shaking and shocking it is like a earthquake has passed and the tremor are continuing after even the act of uh, even after orgasm has finished it is death like he has never he will never be the same again so man has learned a local orgasm just at the genitals his whole body is not involved in it and for centuries women have completely forgotten that they can have orgasm and those who have they know that it is all over the body the it is like the 
the entire being, inner and outer, the body is the expression of what it is happening deep within. After that, there is more bliss, joy, freedom and flexibility at every level of your operation. It is only just two decades before that we again have rediscovered that women has a capacity of orgasm, not only of orgasm, but a capacity of multiple orgasm, that she is more powerful than men and she can move deeper than men into orgasm. No man can compete with a woman, but it has been suppressed and hidden for centuries. In the East, women have completely forgotten what orgasm is. If I talk to an Indian woman and I use the word orgasm, she cannot understand. What do you mean? Impossible. It has been taught to her that it is only for men to enjoy sex, not to woman. That it is not womanly to enjoy it. Why is this suppression? And why all over the world has sex been suppressed so deeply? Sex is similar to death. And that is the reason and all the cultures suppress two things, sex and death. And they are so similar that you can almost say that they are two aspects, two sides of the same coin. And they have to be because it is through sex that life is born one day and it is through sex that life disappears again. It is through sex that for the first time you experience your bodiless presence, you experience consciousness, you experience egolessness, you experience the state of timelessness and you experience the inner state of bliss. Through sex, the waves of life arises. It must subside into sex again. It rises through sex, the waves of life arises. It must subside into sex again. So sex is life and sex is death, death of ego, death of time. The same happens in meditation. You move into such a deep tuning, tuning in that suddenly you pass the third layer of chaos, you are dying. And if you become afraid, then there is, there will be a block in people who have become afraid of meditation and then make all sort of rationalizations not to do it. A block exists and if you remain alert and allow death, you become deathless. You know death is happening all around and you are not dying. Dying and yet not dying. Dying utterly and yet utterly alive. That is the most beautiful experience that one can have, but the first glimpse of that comes through sex when time disappears, ego disappears, and you enter into an state of eternity. Enough for now.